morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, August 21st, and I'm not saying this for sure, but I could be sitting next to the sexiest TV personality in San Diego. I could be when donkeys fly. We're going to get the results of a local <laughs> radio station contest in Thank just you. a few minutes. Thank you so much. Uh, I could be a lot sexier with more hair. <laughs> There's an area back here. It's called Area 45. That's what I call it. Doctor, don't go That's back big. there with the camera. Dr. Mitchell Goldman's coming in. He's going to tell us about new treatments where we can grow some or get some put in. <laughs> I gave you a Chia Pet. The KUSI. Yeah. Oh, back to reality. No, I am just yeah. Are you losing your hair? <laughs> Pretty boy. Dr. Mitchell, Dr. Mitchell Goldman is here. There he is. The devious Dr. Mitchell Goldman is here with the latest treatments to reverse <laughs> that hair loss. With, no, I don't want green implants. It's okay. It's hair. Don't be picky. Okay, I'll take what I can get. It's fairly well documented that I have a, well, just a small thinning. Don't look back there, doctor. Um, I'm very sensitive about it, as all men are. I mean, sometimes, you know, you start losing your hair, you get a little bald spot, and you'd like to cover it up, but you don't want one of those furry weird looking things sitting on top of your head so dr mitchell goldman is here and we're talking about ways that you can grow some hair and, and hopefully keep it for a while well, stan you know many of us are hair deprived myself included in the old days there really wasn't much you could do you had to basically take hair from the back of your head and transplant it to the top and the problem was you looked like a doll's head yeah. but now there's new ways of doing hair transplantation that's pretty safe and effective or you or do that freaky comb over thing where the no. part's right above the ear and you yeah. pull it all the way over? Comb owners, no. You're, you're, you're not going to get sexy as San no, Diego for a comb owner. Now, these are not new products, but uh, some people are afraid to use them because they don't understand them. So let's talk about Rogaine now. Well, Rogaine is the first product that was tested. And actually, in my training at UCLA, we tested this product. Now, what you do is you basically put it on your scalp once or twice a day. The problem was it only really worked on young guys. When we tested it on the undergrads, it worked pretty well, grew back a lot of hair. By the time you got to people my age, a professor didn't grow hair very much at all. So the time to use this is when you're just starting to see the hair loss. All right. And then, you know, and they're running that ad now on television saying, you know, use it before you begin, you know, to keep the hair that you do have. So they're kind of, uh, they've changed their ad campaign a little bit, I think, to go to the younger crowd with yeah. that. But now, it, it's so safe and effective, though, that there's almost no reason not to use it. Initially, it came out as a prescription. It was so safe and effective that then it became over-the-counter. Now, Propecia is, is taken orally. Right. This is a, a pill that actually is only for men, not for women. And you just take one pill a day. It's, I almost think of it like a male vitamin. It works really well for your hair. We've got actually have some visuals of actual patients that pictures. have uh, taken the Propecia before, and the results are quite remarkable. Um, one of the pictures will show when you, when you take one pill a day, and this is after about three months, you can see a lot of uh, hair growth coming back. Wow. And that's in a place where usually we'd have to do a hair transplant. Well, why is this line down there? It almost looked like a scalp reduction well, is what I thought it was. No, what, what we did is we actually combed the patient's hair oh, I see. so that you could get an accurate computer okay. measure. That is account. pretty dramatic growth. Now, it, how does that work? Well, Propecia actually blocks the hormone receptors in the hair follicles. This is another picture, well, it was almost another picture. There we go. That shows us what happens to your kind of hair. Yeah. Because most guys will actually lose hair in the back. And you can see after three months, it grows pretty well. Wow. So what it's doing is it's stopping the male hormone from only acting in the hair follicle, and it lets the hair follicles grow. Okay, now is there any type of uh, drug interaction if you're taking any of the prescription drugs, the Propecia, is that going to be a problem? You know, almost not. It's an extremely safe drug. It's in a very low concentration of a medicine that was actually used uh, in men for prostatic hypertrophy or an enlarged prostate. And then what they found out is when they were giving these guys pills for their prostate, they were growing hair. So what we did is we basically did a dose study and found a very low and effective dose that will not give you any side effects at all, 
just grow your hair. But it, so no problem if you have a liver condition, heart condition, things like that? No, it is a prescription. It does need to be taken under a physician's care, but it's remarkably safe. This picture here just shows another example of how Propecia works. And this would be, we would say, about a 75% improvement. The first one we saw was almost 100% improvement. Yeah, some people do really get dramatic results with this now. It's, it's really amazing, especially on the vertex or the top of your head. And then the very last picture we have, shows basically, you know, a pretty fair result, not something that's absolutely incredible. And the reason I want to show various types of pictures is to show that it's not always going to give you back 100% of your hair, but it's going to grow a fair amount of hair for Genetics you. Genetics are pretty strong. I mean, really, the bottom line is. And uh, real quickly, uh, in lieu of this, uh, they're doing some incredible hair transplantation techniques.